Hello everyone, my name is Sadie Weldon and I want to share an amazing word from God that he gave me for this world, basically, for this world. So I'm just going to share with you what happened. So back in 2016, as I was about to wake up, the Holy Spirit was literally screaming in my ear. I am making the crooked way straight. I am making the crooked way straight. I am making the crooked way straight. Spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and in the natural. So as I woke up to this screaming in my head from the Holy Spirit, I grabbed my iPad and started typing it down. Well, this is where it gets really supernatural. Because as I was writing this down, in big, bold letters, the word spurious popped up in the sentence. I didn't even know what the word spurious is. I thought the only spur I knew was the spur I wear on my boot when I ride my horses. So I had to look up spurious. Spurious means those things that are not genuine, they are not authentic, and they are not of God. So what the Lord was saying, and when God says something three times, the way he did, I am making the crooked way straight. I'm making the crooked way straight. I am making the crooked way straight. Those spurious things, they're not genuine, authentic, are of God spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and in the natural. That's huge because that covers everything in this world. Everything you and I have been taught through religion, which religion is not of God at all. He's the way, the truth, and the life. So we have to unlearn the lies. Mentally, how we've been mentally programmed. Emotionally, those things we've been wounded by, God's going to make them straight. And in the natural. So things that we think are natural are not really natural. God's going to make all these things straight. So this is the gist of the word. At this time, in 2016, I had no idea the Lord was going to take us to Israel for the first time. We were gifted that trip. Now we have ministry partners and we get to bless people and put trips together. So here we are. We're on the bus in Jerusalem. And the Lord says to me, I want you to give that spurious word about I'm making the crooked way straight. And I'm like, okay, God, um, I don't have authority on this trip. I am, um, I'm just here by the grace of God. But I said, Lord, if you want me to give that word, you're going to have to make opportunity. Now, hang on. So we are in Jerusalem and we had got to where, uh, the temple steps were and I had just sprinted up those steps. So excited to be there. And I turned around and I overlooked the city of Jerusalem and I had an open vision of the golden city coming down. It was glorious. Well, then all of a sudden I saw, um, Jim Garlow, the leader of, of the trip. And he was at the bottom of the steps and he was gathering people to him. I thought, well, I'm going to go down there and see what's going on. So as I am approaching, I'm walking up behind Jim and he says, if anybody has a word from God, now is the time to give it. Holy smoly, I could cry right now. The Lord wanted me to give that word in Jerusalem on the temple steps at that particular time, 2016. This is bigger than what you and I know, but I know this in my spirit, man, all the chaos, all the rough stuff that's been going on since then has to do with that word because the enemy is fighting tooth and nail because he's losing. He's losing. It may look like he's winning, but he's losing because the word of the Lord stands true and it cannot be reversed. He does not lie. He said he was going to do it. And for whatever reason, at that time, that word in that place, he wanted it said from his capital of the world. 
I stand here before you humbled and honored that the Lord would have me say those words, his words there. I want to encourage you. Allow the Lord God Almighty to make the crooked ways straight. Those things that are not of God, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and in the natural. It's hats off, God. I don't know anything. I give you permission to rewire my brain. You said you gave me the mind of Christ. I give you my mind. You retrain me. Holy Spirit, you're my teacher. Teach me the way that I may walk in it, and freedom. I decree freedom. I decree that freedom over you who are listening to this video right now. The Lord bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, because he's not only going to give us freedom in our countries in this world, he's going to give you freedom as a child of God in all these areas of your life. Start praising him. Start having an attitude of thanksgiving. He's a faithful God. And he said he'd never leave us or forsake us. He's a man of war who fights for his people. And that's you. Y'all have a wonderful day.